Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very nice and a pretty interactive chess game by Rashid Nejmetinov who is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is Enrico Paoli, the Italian chess grandmaster and this is from the Bucharest chess tournament from 1954. Nejmetinov finished the tournament at the second place just a point behind of Viktor Korchnoi so it was a, a high level chess tournament. 18 of the top level chess players was competing in that tournament and Nejmetinov was almost winning that tournament. So this shows that Nejmetinov was actually a pretty strong chess player. This is just one proof. And let's see what happened in this chess game. This is one of the instructive and the, uh, one of the notable chess games from that tournament of Nejmetinov. And I also found a pretty rare picture of Reshit Nejmetinov. Uh, we also talked about there are not so many pictures of Nejmetinov uh, in Google. So this is the picture that I found of Nejmetinov. As you can see, maybe you have never seen this picture before. Nejmetinov is on the right, playing with kids uh, in a school or something in a chess simul. So this is also a pretty rare stuff of uh, one of the rare pictures of Rashid Nejmetinov in a perfect quality. So very nice uh, and the beautiful stuff, of course. And okay, so let's see what happened in this chess game without wasting any more time. So Nejmetinov, who has the white pieces, starts the game with pushing the e-pawn, e4, c5. And this is the Sicilian defense. So Nejmetinov, as an aggressive chess player, he pushes the d-pawn. So this is the open Sicilian. And developing the pieces. And black played a6. And this is the neither of variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to g5, developing the bishop, pushing the pawn, and black is also developing. Nejmetinov castled from the queen side, queen to c7, and then rook over. So this is the famous knight of variation of the Sicilian defense. And bishop goes back, h6, h4, by Rashid Nejmetinov, full steam ahead in the king side. Black didn't want to castle in the king side, black is targeting Nejmetinov's king in the queen side. And we have g5 moving all the way h takes on g5 h takes on g5 and defending the knight so not defending the knight sorry so this is attacking the queen after defending the queen black is defending the knight knight goes back and Nejmetinov is pushing the f pawn so this is some sort of pawn storm in the king side and we have knight to c4 this knight looks dangerous this is also attacking the bishop so getting rid of the knight bishop takes on c4 queen takes on c4 and then well did you know the nickname of Nejmetinov? that is no reverse gear rashid so he was an exceptionally aggressive chess player who always likes to move forward like a tank in the battlefield so Nejmetinov is moving forward f5 b5 black is also pushing his pawns in the queen side so it's a race who is going to be faster that's the main question and king to b1 and b4, b4 by enrico paoli attacking the knight now where is the knight going if something like knight to e2 then pushing the e-pawn and after defending the knight capturing on c2 i believe is possible for black so what would you do in this position? What would Nejmetinov play in this position? Well, he is actually moving forward. He is not defending the knight. And he played g6. This is the move of Nejmetinov. Always moving forward. No reverse gear Rashid is not hitting the break. We have e5 attacking the knight. So it is clear that Nejmetinov is going to lose one of these knights. Because uh, the knight on c3 and the knight on d4 is under attack but in this position if capturing the knight immediately then g takes on f7 if king takes on f7 then checking the king and capturing the rook and the knight is next and if king to d8 if not capturing then still we have queen takes on g7 and this is looking extremely dangerous as you can see so in this position Nejmetinov is moving forward, so g6, e5, attacking the knight, and then he played an incredible move. He pushed the b pawn and sacrificing the knight. 
Of course, he was going to lose one of the knights, and then Nejmetdinov is breaking in. G takes on f7, and king to d8, and then queen takes on g7. Of course, we have a similar continuation in this position. If king takes on f7, then this is also looking very dangerous, as you can see, attacking the knight with the rook. And the only defense is, actually, if king goes down, it looks like uh, black is getting checkmated. If defending, it is just falling apart. So this is why we have king to d8, and then Nejmetdinov is getting in anyway. As you can see, he is always moving forward like a tank. That's why they called Nejmetdinov no reverse gear Rashid. An exceptionally aggressive player, black played an obvious move, e takes on d4, but then bishop takes on d4. Queen takes on c2, moving to a1, but this very important dark diagonal is being protected by the bishop. So we have rook to h2 by Enrico Paoli, and he's threatening checkmate on a2. How to defend now? Well, Nejmet Dino played bishop to b6, that's check. I think in this position, even capturing the knight is a very good move for white, but this is even more precise, checking the king and blocking with the rook, eh, which is one of the only moves, eh, besides blocking with the queen. And then Nejmet Dinov captured the knight, queen takes on g8. Let's check. And after this move, black resigned. The possible continuation is this. Eh, this is the only continuation, blocking, check, Blocking and then check mate. What a beautiful, amazing chess game by Rashid Nejmetdinov. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. Uh, this was one of the notable chess games of Nejmetdinov from this tournament. So today I uploaded a chess game of Paul Morphy, but I thought maybe if I show this chess game, it would be uh, pretty nice too. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this chess game uh, along with the chess game of Paul Morphy today. And I hope to see you next time with more instructive and beautiful chess games from the history of chess. So stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.